Hi, and welcome to Brightly Storytime. Today, we're going to be learning about dragons from around the globe from the book Dragon World by Tamara McFarlane. For centuries, dragons have captivated the imagination of people everywhere. They take many forms and represent many things. Gods to be revered, evil kings to be feared, wise friends, and fierce foes. But what are they, and what secrets do they hold? Because dragon myths vary from culture to culture, and because dragons come in so many different forms, it is hard to put them together in a single category. However, wherever they come from, there are several common characteristics that many of them share. Flight, though not always with wings, supernatural powers, traits of reptiles, traits of birds, toxic or fiery breath, long tails, Dragons of Asia The Asian dragon is usually an honorable, brave, and wise creature. Most Asian dragons use their powers to protect humans, although there are a few exceptions to this rule. These dragons include the Nagas of India and Indonesia, the Imugi of Korea, the Long of China, the Ryujin of Japan, the Konzong of Vietnam, and the Bakunawa of the Philippines. The most famous dragon in China is called the Long. Many dragons have body parts from different animals, but the Long is unique in that it is made up of body parts from different animals, usually the ones shown here. These parts include the horns of a stag, the neck of a snake, the claws of an eagle, the paws of a tiger, the ears of a cow, the eyes of a hare, the head of a camel, the belly of a clam, and the scales of a carp. There are many stories about how the long came to be, but it is most commonly thought that ancient Chinese tribes each had an animal totem or emblem. As these tribes came together, their emblems were combined, creating the iconic Chinese dragon that we commonly see today. The long rarely had breath powers such as fire breathing or gaseous poisoning, but it was usually able to control the weather and water. Longs are kind and wise and bring good luck to those who deserved it. It is believed the long are able to fly using magic contained in a lump on their heads called chimu. Indian and Indonesian Naga Naga appear in myths and legends from Hindu and Buddhist traditions across Asia. The appearance of the Naga can take many forms depending on where it comes from. The Indian Naga is usually human from the waist up and serpent-like from the waist down. It may be many different colors and have a forked tongue. It is immortal with powerful venom and physical strength. The Indonesian Naga are more traditionally dragon-like and have up to seven heads. It can be found near water or in caves. They are considered guardians of gates, entrances, and treasure and have the ability to shapeshift. Bakunawa. The Bakunawa is a terrifying fanged beast from the Philippines. Many stories about it appear in Filipino mythology. Bakunawa means bent snake. Dark and sea serpent-like, the Bakunawa is wingless, legless, and has a looped tail. The Bakunawa can swallow the moon in a single bite causing an eclipse and plunging the world into darkness. It can also create catastrophic natural disasters such as earthquakes and floods. Imugi The Imugi is a Korean dragon. It is a wise and friendly creature who brings good luck. According to some legends, a dragon-shaped mark would appear on the shoulder of a human girl, revealing that she was the Imugi in human form and would transform into a dragon on her 17th birthday. The Imugi has four legs with four toes, one of which is used like a thumb. They are often shown holding a yuju, a globe that grants special powers. It is believed that it can use this to grant wishes. Konzong The Konzong had a water fairy mother and a dragon father. Together, they hatched 100 Konzong eggs. 50 of the hatchlings stayed on land with their father, and 50 chose to live in the water with their mother. 
it is thought to be a bringer of rain and good fortune. Ryujin. In Japanese mythology, Ryujin, the Dragon King, is the god of the ocean. According to myth, the people of Japan are said to be descendants of the Dragon King. The Dragon King is famous for having an enormous mouth. He holds two jewels that give him power over the sea and is often surrounded by fish, turtles, jellyfish, and other sea creatures who act as servants. Dragons of Europe In many early stories from across Europe, dragons were viewed as mighty creatures who were as much a part of the natural world as mountains or lakes. However, this gradually changed, and dragons became known as unnatural, dark, and dangerous forces that needed to be conquered. These include the wyvern and the lindworm of Northern Europe, Uthrai Goch of Wales, the fire drake of Germany, the Zimai of Eastern Europe, and the Drak of Catalonia. Uthrai Goch. Uthrai Goch, meaning red dragon, is a fearsome fire-breathing dragon from Welsh myth. It appears on the Welsh flag as the national symbol of Wales. Uthrai Goch has four powerful legs, wings, and its skin is a deep red color. It often has a pointed or arrow-shaped tail. It is skilled at battling while in the air and can breathe fire. Drak. The Drak has origins in a Catalan version of the famous George and the Dragon story. The legend goes that a knight named George slays the dragon to stop it from eating people. The Drak has two strong legs and huge claws for catching and crushing prey. In some versions of the story, the Drak's face resembles an animal such as a bull or lion. Wyvern Wyverns appear in stories from Italy, across Europe, and Africa. The largest forms of wyvern prey on elephants, rhinos, and other large animals. While some are relatively small, others are among the biggest and most powerful of the earth-dwelling dragons. Wyverns make nests in the sides of mountains to lay their eggs. This is the only time they will stay in one place for long. The rest of the time, they are constantly on the move in search of prey. Fire Drake Fire Drake has been used as a term to describe all fire-breathing dragons, but it is also the name of one of the rarest dragons. Often mistaken for a shooting star, the Fire Drake can fly at extraordinary speeds, shooting between stars in a flash of flame. It is hard to know exactly what form Fire Drakes take beneath their fiery shield, but it is thought that they have large wings for their size and can make their bodies very aerodynamic. Zimai. Tales of Zimai are told across parts of Eastern Europe. Unlike most of the European dragons, the Zimai is not always destructive and can often be kind toward humans. Zimai are half human, half serpent with the wings of a bat. They have the ability to control the weather and can hypnotize humans with their eyes. Lindworm. The lindworm appears in Nordic creation myths. There are several versions, but Nidhogg is the most well-known. The storeworm is a Scottish relative of the lindworm. The lindworm is an enormous wingless serpent with giant fangs and a terrible temper. It is found in the underworld, deep underground in the roots of trees, or in the ocean depths. The lindworm has the ability to move between different worlds. Other dragons from around the world Dragons have captivated the minds of people all across the globe, inspiring countless myths and legends along the way. These include the Amphitheer of Central and South America, Apep of Egypt, Aido Huedo of West Africa, Amaru of South America, and the Marsupial Dragon of Australia. Amphitheer. Although originally from Northern Africa, the Amphitheer is now considered to be an American dragon predominantly from South and Central America. The amphitheer is thought to be able to see into the future and have control over rocks. Apep. Originating in Egyptian mythology, Apep was the god of chaos. He spent a lot of time trying to eat Ra, the god of the sun. This is said to have caused a solar eclipse. For this reason, 
A pep is often associated with night and darkness. Aido Huedo. Aido Huedo appears in a creation myth from the Dahomey people in Western Africa. This great serpent flew the Mawu Lisa, the god of all creation, around in its mouth and helped to create the earth. It is strong enough to hold up the earth and is the bringer of the gift of rain. Marsupial Dragon. The marsupial dragon has a similar body to a kangaroo, but with a classic European dragon-like face and spine. It uses its wings to extend giant leaps rather than actually fly. Huge creatures used to live across Australia, including lizards up to 16 feet or 5 meters long. It's possible the marsupial dragon emerged in stories as a way to explain the fossilized skeletons that belonged to these giant animals. Amaru. This huge double-headed dragon appears in South American Inca mythology. It is said to have emerged from a mountain during a time of colossal earthquakes. It appears as a winged serpent with the head of a bird and a jaguar or puma, though occasionally it had the head of a llama. All these animals were considered to be sacred. Lots of living creatures have a similarity to dragons in some way whether it's fangs, flight, or ferocious looks. Many have the word dragon as part of their name. Black Dragonfish The extraordinary black dragonfish is a ferocious deep-sea creature that is capable of producing its own light. This chemical process is called bioluminescence. Pink Dragon Millipede these strange-looking millipedes earned the name of dragon due to their spiky spines and bright colors. Flying Dragon Using a wing-like structure supported by their ribs, flying dragons can glide for long distances. Sea Dragon Sea dragons can be found off the coast of Australia. The males carry their babies in a special pouch by their tails. Dragon Tail Butterfly. At 1.5 inches or 4 centimeters long, the tail of the Dragon Tail Butterfly is almost as long as its wings are wide. Blue Dragon Sea Slug. These beautiful ocean dwellers eat the stinging cells from Portuguese man o' wars and turn it into a sting of their own. Komodo Dragon. The largest living lizard on Earth the Komodo dragon uses venom to weaken its prey. It has been known to eat prey as large as a water buffalo. Snapdragon Snapdragon plants have flowers that look like a dragon's head. If you squeeze the sides of the flower, the top and bottom parts open and close like a dragon's snapping mouth. It sure is amazing how dragon myths exist all around the world. Do you have any local legends about them? For more information and tales about dragons, be sure to check out the full book, Dragon World by Tamara McFarlane. Bye.